right guys i thought i would show you a little oldies haul honestly I, sometimes i don't know why i bother I, sometimes i film grocery hauls and i don't end up posting them just deleting them honestly it is the videos that get the least amount of views on my channel which i honestly I don't know why i love watching grocery hauls but i guess it's random but i like to see what stores have what they carry what i can get so she saw like all these has such unique finds so that's why i figured you know what i'm just gonna turn on the camera and show it because i love some of the stuff that all these carry so i have two bags one is just like my everyday staples there uh this stuff specifically was on sale as well i always check out the flyers so i'll definitely show it to you guys i tend to get a lot of produce at all these they always have amazing deals those strawberries were 99 cents you cannot beat that i love strawberries and i am off for a month so i have plenty of time to eat and prep and enjoy strawberries from breakfast as a side for my lunch maybe i'll even make a little dessert so i literally bought three cottons of strawberries because i cannot beat 99 cents and then i love these little mandarin oranges little clementines whatever you want to call them um these are the ones that are like a seedless and you just peel and eat um three pound bag this was like three and change was really cheap sometimes these bags are for 4.99 5.99 so i was like for three and change i'm gonna pick that up as well it even says they were packed on 7 21 21 so it's pretty fresh today's august 2nd um a product of chili interesting so i scooped that up um i also grabbed a bag of mini peppers i love these i pick them up every time i go you're gonna see some of the cool unique finds as dips that i use to eat with this um you also can chop these up in a salad and stuff like that absolutely love these little peppers there's a big thing going on right now where people cut off the tip and add like cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning i just can't do cream cheese i am like somewhat lactose intolerant but i do eat like like a little you know i do eat some cheeses but some reason cream cheese is one of those things that goes right through me i cannot have cream cheese at all i grabbed a seedless cucumber it was on sale for 99 cents Usually the seedless ones go for a dollar something, a dollar ninety nine. So I figured chop this up, have some with my dip, which you are gonna see in the next bag. And then the last thing in my like everyday kind of all these purchases was a bag of green beans, and it was on sale for like a dollar something. And it's the fresh green beans, absolutely fre love fresh green beans. I'm not a big fan of canned green beans. And then this bag was the more unique finds that i love to go through and see what they have um this i honestly just grabbed out of necessity it wasn't on my list i forgot about it. everything else you just saw was on my list other than the mandarin oranges that wasn't either but then when i saw the price i grabbed it but then i remembered oh shit we need gallon size bags so i scooped these up these are the only bags i buy now uh because i have been doing reusable sandwich bags but i do need the gallon size for bigger things like slices of pizza stuff like that um so it's like the only non-reusable bag i still purchase and it was literally like a dollar 89 for this brand and i've heard a lot of people swear by the oldies version of ziploc bags and you get 40 bags and it says it even has now with click lock seal listen for the freshness twin lock bpa free so i figured i'd give that a shot this was like a brand new find honestly these are gonna be for my mom because she's doing like low carb not keto but low carb but honestly these look amazing if these have been cheaper i would have gotten for me i'm just like cheap guys i say that all the time but i called her and i said oh my god i think you'll like it it's like a low carb thing so this is egg life egg white wrap so there is no carbs in this yeah it even says made with cage free eggs and not flour they're literally only 35 calories a wrap six grams of protein less than one gram of carb zero grams of saturated fat grain free dairy free you just have to keep these refrigerated since it is egg whites uh i thought this was really cool for her it even says gluten free zero milligrams of cholesterol soy free zero sugar keto friendly paleo friendly and it says you can literally enjoy it right out of the package they had it in original and everything bagel seasoning at my store so i grabbed the everything bagel seasoning i asked which one she wanted she wanted this one i figured that's what she would want she loves that seasoning so do i you're gonna see it in a dip real soon um but it also says you can warm it it says heat in the microwave for 10 seconds or you can heat in a non-skillet pan non-stick skillet medium high heat for 15 to 30 seconds she's been doing making like keto breads and um lettuce wraps and all that stuff and i thought this would be a really cool addition for her but i did find it very expensive because it was 4.25 and it only comes with six um 
But he says egg life wraps are the perfect wrap with one gram of carb or less, at least five grams of protein and 35 calories or less per serving. So things like this is why I love doing holds like this. So if you are someone who is keto or low carb, definitely keep an eye out for these. They tend to actually have a lot of like keto friendly stuff at all these for way cheaper than everywhere else. Every time I go into all these, so technically this was like an essential, but you know, it's not something I necessarily right now. I'm definitely trying to eat more fruits and veggies. But since I was in that little section, I scooped this up. I love pasta. I love ravioli. Uh, this is their five cheese ravioli. But it's very hard to find it in the small servings. I usually find it in the bigger servings. But my boyfriend does not like pasta. So I only make this for myself. One day if I need a quick meal, he has leftovers. Or he's going out to eat with friends or whatever. This is a good option for me. I'll throw it in Alfredo. I'll throw it with marinara. Sometimes just some olive oil and Parmesan cheese. I absolutely love this stuff. And because it's like the smaller package, it's literally only $2 and change and you guys know those go for really expensive in the big packages and i just i don't eat through all of it because it's only me that eats it and then i grabbed two specialty dips i was looking for their chocolate hummus that is one of my necessities every time i go there especially since i have so many strawberries right now i really wanted the chocolate hummus but they did not have any but they had so many others like they literally have like five layer dips tzatziki dips they had like a Mexican corn dip I've bought in the past, guacamole, so many. These were the two I decided to get this time. They, I got spinach dip. I absolutely love spinach dip when I go to restaurants. It's one of the appetizers I tend to grab. Rich and creamy dip with real sour cream and chopped spinach. Um, I figured this would be perfect to go with the sliced up cucumbers, my little peppers. So I grabbed this. Definitely needed more like snacky food since I'm home for the next month. I eat all three meals from home when I'm working. It's literally, as you guys, if you've never watched my videos, I say all the time, I literally buy yogurts. I buy five for five days of my work week. And I literally just grab that and a banana and I'm out the door. And I literally eat a yogurt and a banana every single morning. Sometimes I throw in a boiled egg if I prep food ahead of time. And then my lunch is literally just wraps and stuff that I make. And then dinner is like the only meal I like cook here. And that's literally it. So it's when I'm off for a long period of time because I do work in school. I have a lot of vacations. That's when I tend to do markets like this and buy like a lot more snacky foods because I'm home more. Um... And then I grabbed everything bagel dip. I absolutely love the seasoning. So I'm dying to try this. And honestly, it seems lower fat. It's only 70 calories for two tablespoons. Because I was scared it was like a cream cheese base because I can't do cream cheese. But it is not. It is a Greek yogurt with sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and garlic and onion. And I love yogurt based dips. So I am super excited to try these. I think this one was two something and this one was three something. So that is going to pair perfectly with my cucumbers and my peppers. And then I always grab cheeses at, oh, they have an amazing dairy section. They have such fancy cheeses. I always go there for my charcuterie boards. I've gotten like tomato basil cheeses and roasted vegetable cheeses and all that kind of stuff. So I grabbed two different types of mozzarella. I grabbed this sliced mozzarella it's like in a log this with some tomatoes i have tomatoes i grabbed at walmart the other day um and with just some balsamic vinaigrette mm, love it or i could toss in a salad because i bought lettuce at walmart the other day i did end up filming that whole i came home at like 11 i tend to go to walmart right before closing because i hate walmart during the day i don't go to walmart very often to be honest with you guys and if i do it's right before closing and then I grabbed this. This was the first time I've ever seen this. It's the same thing. It's the fresh mozzarella. But this is, it's called snacking cheese because it's a convenient 70 calorie snack. You, it, they come in little snack packs, kind of like the Baby Bell cheese. Um, so I was like, ooh, I absolutely love mozzarella. So I'm going to grab this. So it's six one ounce packages. And it looks like each package has like three little mozzarella balls. So these are even perfect. I might definitely do something I would get when I go back to work, make a quick little lunch. I can chop up some tomatoes, bring one of these packages, pour a little vinegar and boom, I am ready to go. Like that sounds delicious. So I hope I see those again. That was my first time seeing it this time. And then I always grab these at Walmart. These are my go-to. This is what I grab every morning before I go to work. It is the Chobani. I try a million different flavors. Uh, I always sometimes show me eating, not me physically eating breakfast, but I'll show like what I'm having for breakfast at work. And I'll be like, today's yogurt. Um, and I literally try like every kind they have. 
Sometimes they have seasonal ones, like they have a churro one right now that's amazing, a, a key lime pie that's amazing. I'm sure they're gonna have some pumpkin soon. But they're like a dollar twenty-five at Walmart. Like I said, I usually buy five for Monday through Friday. Um, I don't usually need those right now because I do make sit-down breakfasts when I'm home. So that's why I went to Walmart. I had got like avocados, I had got bagels, bacon, eggs. But they were on sale for 99 cents at Aldi's. And this is the first time I've seen them at Aldi's. Aldi's has their own brand that I think is usually like 69 cents or 79 cents. I grab those as well when I have it, but they don't have it all the time. This is the first time I saw the name brand. And it's actually one I've never tried before. It's cookie dough. I have never seen the cookie dough at Walmart. So I don't know if this is a new flavor, but I'm super excited to try these. I only grabbed three since this isn't going to be like a, you know, everyday breakfast for me. This is just going to be a quick little snack in between meals if I'm hungry. So I grabbed three of those. But that is everything I grabbed at Aldi's. Uh, everything was relatively cheap. Like I said, these were 99 cents. I think literally the other than the egg wraps for my mom, the most expensive thing were these. And I think this was like $2.99 or $3.99. And I think this was like $2.69 or $2.99. Well, the dips were like three something, but that was it. I, I literally spent, so I'm going to be honest. I went into the store twice because the first bag you saw with all the essentials is what I got. And it was $16 because I gave her 20 and she gave me $4 back. And then I said, oh, I need chocolate hummus. I bought three packages of strawberries. I love it with chocolate hummus. So I was like, Joe, I'm going to go back in the store since I have $4 and get the chocolate hummus. It's usually $2.99. And then, of course, I go look for the hummus and I see this and this and these fancy dips and my mom's wraps and the ravioli and the chobani flips so i ended up spending another almost 20 i think it was 17 or 18 the second time so for less than 40 i got tons of stuff so i didn't end up having to grab another 20 i spent more than four dollars but i got literally like three yogurt a bag of mandarin oranges a bag of sweet little peppers a seedless cucumber three packages of strawberries a big roll of mozzarella cheese a bunch of packages of small little snacking mozzarella cheese a package of ravioli two different dips a bag of green beans keto friendly egg white wraps and a big thing of gallon ziploc bags you guys know stop and chop or whatever version of your grocery store in your area because i know stop and chop's really more of an east coast thing but that would have been easily like 60 bucks or more so especially for like produce and cheeses and keto friendly stuff so I love going into all these for this kind of stuff. I've heard people complain that the produce goes bad. I on it like faster. I honestly could not say that for me because I literally only get produce, like a lot of produce when I am home from work. So I always eat it very quickly. Um, when it's, when I'm working, I literally buy mostly frozen vegetables to cook or if I, I will just run after work just to grab that thing for that day that I need to make. If I have like a specific recipe or something, because once in a blue moon, I see something new I want to try and I need like, you know, a vegetable or whatever. But I can't say that's been my experience. If you guys have experienced that, definitely comment below, down below. I'm kind of curious. I think more than the fruit than the vegetables, like vegetables tend to last a little bit longer, but we all know strawberries don't last super long. Oh, I bought a big watermelon too for like four and change. It's somewhere over here might still be in the car we'll see so i'm gonna prep all this right now i'm literally gonna cut it up wash it put it into containers ready to go so i'm more likely to eat it and not waste it and stuff but i'm ready for my month off i'm ready to finish this apartment if you guys notice the background is different so if you guys like moving vlogs definitely consider subscribing i'm gonna have some organize with me's unpack with me's decorate with me's room vlogs apartment tours i cannot wait so this will not just be an unboxing and haul channel even once those videos are done and posted i want to be branching out because now i have an office and craft room so I'm going to be doing more journal with me's, plan with me's, crafting videos. I'm going to have a beauty room. So I'm going to do some, some try on hauls. Super excited for the new stuff to come out. If any of that interests you guys, like I said, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see. Like the video if you like me, if you like grocery hauls, if you like all these, it helps the YouTube algorithm. But that is it, guys, for this video. Be safe.